Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 8. And yeah, last episode, we saw the tables turn. Um, We saw Aaron and the others losing the advantage because Zeke and the Car Titan showed up. And then later, when Armin took action by transforming into the Colossal Titan and nuking a bit of the outside of the city um, and distracting them a little bit so that Levi and the others could take the advantage again, the tables turned again, and then it ended basically with Aaron drinking the Warhammer Titan juice, and we see how that affects him, and how the fight against Reiner now will turn out. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what do you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. And Reiner indeed has spikes now. And his eyes are glowing. Yeah, he has pupils, which he didn't have before as Armor Titan. <laughs> oh, I think he got Galliard, right? He took the hit to get Galliard out. Yep. But I guess Galliard is still not a big help. <coughs> because, because he has to recover. <laughs> Okay, he knows his limits. Oh, his jaw is gone. Dang, that was a punch. Look, okay, he has no armor on his face, right? And that was also enough for Reiner. I wonder if Reiner is now also out of energy, maybe, or maybe he's just like, okay, he retreats so I can deactivate my Titan too. How dare they run away? I want to kill him. I guess that's a dumb idea. I guess she will die if she goes. <laughs> Very interesting to see what, what's happening now. Because like I said, it seems like that they have like differences. And his eyes are so dead. What happened? Jean? No, no, Levi. <laughs> as loving as ever. <laughs> so Aaron really went on him by himself. Did they got? What is this? What is this gas stuff? Huh. Yeah, I guess. I guess from their perspective, that makes sense. Somewhat. But not from their perspective. Where they where they value value like every life, kinda. Because they have already suffered lots of dead people. Because you've been around since your recruitment days. Yeah, she's desperate. Because Sophie died and Udo got trampled and all the others died. So she's angry and desperate, wants revenge. Because you were in the danger zone as a kid. I guess they wanted to protect Gabi because she's like candidate for the Titan. I mean, again, they did pretty much the same to Paradise Island. Oh, is the thing they maybe got that went like planned? Was it maybe Zeke? 
I mean, if they didn't start it, nothing of this would happen. They lived their happy life on the island and only feared the titans. And then the colossal titan came and destroyed the wall. And they had to fear the titans more. But that's how war works. One starts it, the others retaliate. And then they retaliate and retaliate, and she kills him. Headshot. Is she grabbing it? And goes up? Yep, I guess she's doing that. I guess she has bad chances because there is Levi. Maybe this is a way how she maybe switches sides by getting there, gets captured, and then they speak to her, tell her everything. Dude, they always tea. And yoink. Oh, Falco's grabbing her. You won't get away. I mean, now he can't let go, otherwise he dies, right? Will they kill at least one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's gonna die? Oh no, Sasha! In the chest! Uh oh. Declassified information, Marley. Dude, I thought, yeah, she will probably kill one before they realize what, what's going on. And I thought, like, yeah, she will probably just kill some cannon fodder character, right? A background character. But no, of course, she has to hit someone, one of those three that are like main characters. To be honest, I think Sasha, Sasha will not die from it. But it sucks anyway, because Sasha is awesome. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, oh, Gene is pissed. <laughs> yeah, Gene is not holding back after that. Oh! Now they see how it is. They get beaten up. Don't tell me she dies. <clears throat> of course the food. Don't tell me she dies, man. It seems like she's really dying, man. Just take them with you. Hostages. I mean, they can't transform or do anything if you... If you tie them up and shit. <laughs> they won't come back. Yep. Oh! <clears throat> they infiltrated three years ago? Or maybe it wasn't Armin. Maybe it was just a sympathizer. It wasn't Armin. Oh, Aaron? Oh, Zeke! They got Zeke! Like I said. <clears throat> or her car tight? Tight and stuff? She? Zeke's followers. I'm confused. Is this all a plan? Did Was Zeke in on it? Did Zeke want it to be captured? I guess we find out. They sneak up here. Really? 
So Zeke is in on it? I except those two. What is going on? Like I said, it was suspicious that Zeke knew how dangerous Leva is and he just took the ambush like nothing. I said it, it was so suspicious and we didn't saw him being like dead. We didn't saw his body. We just saw the beast titan on the ground. But I guess he was inside and Leva just got him out. Of course he does. So is Zeke in on it or not? I'm confused. Every time. So he did like multiple times? Maybe. Oh, that's why Zeke is in on it. Because he wants to fight for the aliens, I guess, maybe? What's going on now? Sasha dead? No! Oh my god, dude. Of all the characters, why Sasha? Why not Connie? I would be okay with Connie. <laughs> of course she says me. And he finds it amusing. And they're just like, dude, what the fuck is going on with you, man? She was... She was true to herself until the very end. Oh, okay, he's not finding it funny, he's mad. I guess he's mad. Or he feels guilty because it's because of him. The first expression... Oh, it's the end already. Holy shit. What an episode. I I have to say, I really hated that Sasha died. I was... I would have been fine if just some background character died. But I mean, there has to be stakes, right? So main characters have to be at risk of dying, right? Otherwise, it gets... There are no stakes, right? So I, it makes sense. But why Sasha? Why not Connie? I would have been fine with Connie, not because I hate Connie, but I feel like Connie is not as interesting as a character. I think Sasha is more funny, has a better character. Um, so I would have been fine with Connie, but Sasha hits deep for me, I guess. Um, and I was a bit con confused by Aaron's emotion at the end. The first emotion we saw seemed like he was smiling and like about to laugh. Maybe he was, but then, like, after remembering all of that stuff, I guess, maybe it switched to, like, more, like, anger or, like, guilt, grief, um, because he knows that it's basically his fault because he started this whole thing. And from what it sounds like, they say he runs off, like, all the time and they have to come and save him every time he gets captured. So, did he do this multiple times already, or did they just mean, like, what happened in Season 3 and stuff with getting captured by... Um, Ryan and stuff. Um, maybe they refer to that time. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm like really wondering like, is Zeke in on it? On one hand, I would say it sounds like he's in on it because also his follower helped to set up the Card Titan and the Jaw Titan, uh, Galliard and Peak, Peak with the uh, trap. Um, so I guess he is in on it because I guess he knows that the aliens are at risk of getting killed because they are seen as evil and so maybe he wants to fight for the aliens and that way he wants to support like Eren because they want to fight for the aliens so I guess for that reason he could be in on it but some way when he talked Zeke when Zeke talked with um, Levi it sounded not so friendly it sounded more like hostile as if he wouldn't be in on it but I guess ultimately he is in on the plan um and yeah then we have like this whole thing with gabi basically where she's like where, where, where falco told her like it's not only they 
didn't attack us we attacked them first and now they come back for revenge basically and she's like did you see it and Falco's like no I didn't and she's like yeah me neither I wonder what she meant by that is is it like that she's like yeah I didn't see that happen so it could be not true or I don't give a fuck um unless I see it for myself that we attack them first um just so that she can keep being mad and angry because of everything that happens but I mean that's just basic war stuff right one starts it and then the other ones want revenge and then you want revenge because they take revenge and then they want to revenge again and it just is a spiral that never ends really um but yeah man i really thought that maybe sasha would come around right it really like sucks that sasha is like dead for good now i thought maybe it looks just bad and then she comes around by like the sliver of an hair or some shit and yeah I guess we will see what happens next. I mean, they retreat now, maybe back to Paradise Island, and they have Gabby, Gabby and Falco as hostiles, maybe. Maybe they can... Maybe Gabby and Falco will find out what's happened and get the story maybe told or somewhat something, and then maybe they change sides. That would be interesting, I would get, I would say, if they change sides. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think, and I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.